Hello everyone and happy new year to you all. I know it's almost the end of uh, January 2022 uh, but this is my first video this year. It's like uh, three months I've not done a video. Uh, so feel welcome back to Codestar Technologies which is one of the best tech YouTube channel here in Kenya and uh, Africa at large. Uh, if you have not subscribed uh, consider subscribing to our channel because we normally share information uh, to do with the uh, technology especially uh, largely in Kenya and uh, Africa so if you might need to learn something like uh, for example some of the short courses to do with uh, web development uh, Python programming things to do with data science we normally offer these kind of uh, short courses here in uh, in our platform these are our uh, one of the best e-learning platform uh, which you need to consider um, uh, buying some of our courses that we normally offer on our channel. Now, um, without wasting time, uh, in our today's session, I would like to show you a simple system which I developed sometimes back, I think almost uh, by the end of last year. Uh, there was a client who asked me to do add this kind of feature on a system that they were doing. So uh, the system is about uh, a plagiarism uh, system which can uh, check plagiarism to some, something like a student's project. Like for example, if you are, you are in uh, fourth year or third year in college or university, uh, you are supposed to do a project. And um, in this project, you're not supposed to copy other people's work. So that's why some of the institutions, especially universities and colleges, they normally run uh, something we call a plagiarism uh, check. And they use some of the softwares, like for example, you can see there is this one called Tatin. Uh, we also have uh, another one like uh, Glamoury, which you can also use uh, to check this kind of stuff. Now, uh, these ones you have to pay for them. It's very, very expensive. <laughs> they have a very, very ex expensive product. I've never checked the price, but I know they are very, very expensive. So you can take time and go through to check some of the prices that uh, they normally the, the cheapest. Because uh, when I was developing, I tried to check whether we have got um, uh, something like uh, free that you can do free and some of the softwares that give me free it used to have a, a document that does not exceed words more than 50 50 something like something like that i think so yeah so that's the work of a, a plagiarism checker uh, software or system so what it does it kind of uh, checks the document that you've submitted it's uploaded to the server then the software uh, goes through the document comparing with other uh, projects like uh, the projects that other students have brought and uh, that one is a, a kind of a desktop or um, an offline uh, plagiarism checker but online plagiarism checker it does check uh, in relation to content which is on the internet and might have copied some uh, people's work from the either blog site or website or those kind of stuff so that is the work of um, uh, this kind of uh, uh, plagiarism checker uh, softwares. So um, now back to the system. This is the system. This is how we're going to generate the report. As you can see here, uh, we have got the, when you upload, what it does, it normally checks the plagiarism. And once it checks the plagiarism, it compares with other documents that exist. This one is comparing with the documents that exist in my system right now. Um, and, uh, like you can see this one we have a document like artificial intelligence uh, similarity with um, uh, this one to see the C uh, there is a document called C so in that case it checks and it finds like uh, this document relates with the other uh, it's the relationship with that 30 percent something like that like for example they have copied 30 percent of the document from each other so that's how it does like for example green is kind of fair like for example i'm assuming like um, if a document um, it's uh, more than either 50 there is a uh, below 50 there is a uh, not below 50 you'll check the, on the code how we have uh, classified uh, below a certain range you'll find that that is fair that's why it's showing green um, then there is warning like for example when you check and you see it's a uh, color um, this um, is it gold or yellow or something like that we normally call it warning so in that case it normally gives you the result and uh, red it means now you have copied over almost everything so in that case uh, that's how this software works now um, let's get uh, to the system and check how it looks like so um, 
to make sure this uh, feature is implemented we worked i worked with uh, several programming language but i can talk about the two programming language which are very very important but still you can work with one uh, in this case because the system needed uh, to work um, it's a because kind of a web application uh, i needed it to work um, using php as the backend so in that case we have got the index page here which is used to upload now the <clears throat> As you can see, this is the index page. Uh, that's the CSS, but you can separate CSS. But let's get exactly to the form. We have got the form here, uh, which is uh, sending data to the upload.php. And uh, you need to know that when you're uploading something, this one is very, very important to end, end type. Uh, multi-part form data, it's very, very important to have this uh, code there because without this one, you cannot upload anything. Now, um, then we select the file. Once we select the file, we send, we submit it to the to this page called upload.php in uh, using this method called post. Now, uh, once we submit it to the upload.php, so this is the upload.php, I can open it. Uh, so that you can get to understand how it looks like because as you know always i normally share this uh, kind of uh, uh, <laughs> source code so that you can make use of them so uh, how does it work well, if the button uh, submit is set uh, then you get the name of the document the size the type uh, things like um, temp the temp the temp name something like that then you move the uploaded uh, file to this folder called plagiarism so like for example HD docs then plagiarism something like that so it uploads the document right here on these ones but you can create a separate folder where you can upload the documents and to put them together I decided just to do them in this this uh, this folder so once it uploads to that folder it saves using the same same name that you got from the file using the same same file name now um, then we get another file which is um, the path of another file called uh, sss.py so what is the name what is the work of this ss.py this is a python file uh, and it's here as you can see here this is the python python file and the work of this python file is the one that now it's doing the plagiarism test because with php you cannot implement this kind of uh, something we call machine learning concept so remember plagiarism is all about comparison of data and all that kind of stuff so it needs that uh, some mathematical aspect and all those kind of stuff so the only language which can uh, be able to do all that it's um, a python programming language and as you can see now this is the code for sss you can see i have got um, uh, modules like OHERS, I've got this one, I've got JSON, I've got system. Then the most important uh, module that uh, now does the machine learning part is called what we call uh, SKLearn. Uh, for those who have done data science, machine learning, those kind of stuff, I know most of you have used this uh, SKLearn. And uh, now this is the one that you normally use to implement this kind of stuff. Now, uh, let's get back to, um, to the process so that you can understand. So as we said, uh, when it gets to the upload folder now we we have uploaded the file to this folder and now we get we get the path of a certain file which is python file uh, and we execute that file so what does this file do now let's jump into the python file so what happens to the file once this one is invoked it normally loads these modules and once it loads these modules it gets all the documents that are listed in this folder which folder the plagiarism folder this one the, all the text files like, like as you can see here we have got all the text files that are in this folder and once it gets all the files now what it does it compares all the files this is the code that does the uh, the comparison of the the, the files to check the percentage of how they relate with each other now after that we'll get the score and for example when the score is above zero now we will submit that data like you can say for example uh, if you need uh, the score to be my maybe like um, uh, if a document relates with each other uh, like 30 percent of it more than 30 percent of it it has to be uh, red flagged as a, a plagiarism test as something it has not uh, gone through the plagiarism so so in that case so what it does any any comparison and it finds that that information that that file relates with each other it's more than zero now it will give the it will send that information to the php file 
So how does it do that? Now you can see here we have got um, this uh, JSON. So we imported the file, uh, the, the, the JSON. Because these are two different applications which are communicating together, uh, we say that uh, there's our API in, in, in other words normally work. So in this case, you'll find that now the JSON, uh, the, the Python file needs to send this data to the PHP. And how can it do that? It needs just to convert the results in um, a format called JSON. And now the PHP will get the JSON. And once it gets the JSON, now it can um, uh, uh, interpret the JSON and uh, now in, uh, convert it to uh, something we call um, um, it does the decoding, as you can see here. So we get the we execute the Python file. We do the comparison using the machine learning uh, module called sklearn. Once we do that, it's going to give you the, give the results, and the results are converted into JSON. So in the JSON part, you can see we are getting how many files here. We are getting the um, uh, the percentage. Like for example, we have got um, the score, which is how much. Like uh, this one, you can see we are getting the plagiarism response. We get the score. And once we get the score, now that's the one that is being converted to. So, uh, when we get to the PHP here, we decode that JSON because the information comes in form of JSON format. It is decoded and it's, in other words, it, it's converted into PHP array. And once it is converted into PHP array, now we get to this point where you can see uh, we have got the file name and the percentage. So, for each file name, then is the key and value. So if the value, then we multiply by 100 so that because they come in form of uh, zero point, something like that. So it, we convert them into percentage so that we can get to understand. And in that case, as you can see, if it goes 70%, we give it danger. If it is goes um, something like uh, below, above 40, it is warning. And the next one is uh, below that, it's going to be success, meaning that uh, that it's not above the plagiarism level. So in that case, that's how you normally display that one. That then you close the PHP. So that's how it does. And let's us uh, run one of these kind of stuff. So um, you need to have PHP um, uh, server. Uh, in that case, we normally use ZAMP or WAMP. You can use any of those. So uh, you start, you make sure it's running. And once you have that, now you come here, you normally write localhost on your, um, this one, localhost like that. And then here, because the file name is plagiarism, I just write plagiarism like that. I'm assuming like um, a student now has submitted the, the file. So in this case, I've got how many files here? I've got, uh, let me minimize like that. I've got uh, some files here. I would like to copy the, either pick machine learning or probability, any of this. So for example, like you can see these two, uh, maybe they relate with each one uh, in, 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 in one way or the other. So in this case, um, let me just come here, back to this one, browse. If you try to upload, it's supposed to give you an error to select a file first of all, because we happen to reinforce that one using uh, this required. So um, let me go back, browse, I'm going to the desktop and on the desktop, I'm going to select probability. So I upload, then I click upload. Once I upload now, uh, this is the Python file, which is now being run right now after uploading. So after that, it's going to display the results. And um, it takes time because these machine learning uh, tools, they normally need a high speed machine. So in case maybe you are testing using a, your laptop or a desktop, in that case, you have to be very cautious. So in this case, as you can see, it has given us the percentage. Now we uploaded probability, as you can see, it has been compared to something like that. So things are like that. Uh, maybe assuming I upload another one, uh, I think you can see machine learning somewhere. There is no file which is named as machine learning here. So I need to upload another one like machine learning. So let me just go back and uh, do it like that. Upload. Uh, now in this case, I want to select machine learning, this one, and to see whether it's going to dis display here. So like for example, you can see machine learning has been uploaded, probability has been uploaded. We don't have what the other one was Java something, Java something which is not here. 
so that we can you, you can track if it is uploading so in this case machine learning let's see whether machine learning here has been compared like for example you can see this one it's 60% uh, of this one so like for example if you can pick uh, cons compile construct uh, that is compiler constructions uh, we we put the code uh, the content of this one to this one and we test we see whether it's going to give us a certain percentage so in that case maybe let me pick machine learning and I copy the whole of this content I'm just selected and I'm going to copy and once I copy I'm going to put it on the compiler construction instead of having this one I'm going to delete this one and put the content of machine learning then I am going to save once I save I want if I refresh this one to see whether uh, it's going to give me let me just upload Java because uh, it needs to be uploaded let me just select I go and pick the Java programming this one I upload so remember I have changed the um, construct uh, compiler constructions and uh, uh, machine learning to look the same so I want to see whether the percentage is 100% and as you can see these documents relate to each other 100% and also it has uploaded the Java we need to see Java somewhere like Java programming here so that's how this feature works and uh, I hope you've learned something so uh, as I said the source code is going to be available on the com uh, description you're going to find the download link there and uh, remember as I said you need to click the subscribe button like for example when you click to our youtube channel uh, here uh, let's see let's see this content that we have uh, at least uh, for you to